Okay, so this is the, um, I'm going to talk about the um, social, MA in social innovation and sustainability, which was launched um, two years ago. So we've already had uh, two cohorts um, go through and uh, we're on the, the second cohort has nearly completed their program. Um, and we are welcoming in the third cohort in August. Now, fundamentally, we, um, we have goals for our students, but we also have a, a bigger goal of the program, which is to develop a community of practitioners and researchers with the mindset and skills to tackle the region's most pressing sustainable development goals. So we, we kind of try to keep those goals to the front and center of what we do and work towards um, you know, building a community can, that can help um, achieve them. Right, so this is the, um, the break, the sort of the structure of the program. And this is a, a revised program. We've iterated and learned from um, the first couple of years and made some changes to make it more, um, address some of the feedback that we've received from students. Um, and during the first semester, we have cl classes in sustainability and the global political economy, approaches to social innovation, research and design thinking, um, class on designing organizations for impact and a semester long program on um, social innovation and sustainability. These are foundational courses. And then as students go into the, the second semester, they can either choose to take a thesis track with a focus on research methods and uh, write doing research for their thesis or do the coursework track, which has classes, uh, it's a very dynamic range of classes on um, project management and impact assessment, behavioral economics for sustainability, strategic leadership for social transformation, uh, sustainability practices, and, and finally, technology for sustainable development. And this leads into a, the final semester where students are either working on their thesis or they're doing their independent study. So we now have a sort of a group of students who are um, doing their research for their independent studies and we'll complete that within the next month or so. Okay, now we, through these classes, we hope to um, develop a range of skills and knowledge around our, amongst our students um, with a focus on understanding social innovation approaches, critical thinking skills and analytical skills, um, skills in doing research for impact, design thinking skills, um, so skills in doing social and environmental impact assessment, uh, behavioral change communication, strategic management and leadership, and, and also developing partnerships to generate sustainable development. Um, all of these classes are conducted either at the Tupperjan campus, and we'll, I'll show you some great photos of our, our classroom on the Riverside, um, and also those classes are done on the weekend, Saturdays and Sunday. And during the week, we use a downtown location. Um, so it's more accessible to students who are working in the city center. Okay, we have a very diverse and highly qualified team. And this is only a, a few of the main the faculty members who part take in this program, but there are many more such as Pia, uh, Ajahn Pia, who's on the call, and uh, Ajahn Matthew. We also um, make a strong effort in the MA program to reach out to um, experts and professionals um, in their fields to come in and, and give uh, guest lectures in our program or act as adjunct professors. So these, this is just a snapshot of some of the interactions we've had uh, over the last two years with our um, guest lecturers and guest speakers. We also, um, I, I should emphasize, the program is underpinned by a series of values. And one is we really value global perspectives and diverse perspectives. So um, not only is our um, sort of faculty quite diverse, we have uh, professors from um, sort of Austria, the UK, Australia, Nepal, Thailand, and so on. But we also have a um, faculty, so students from around the world as well. And that student community is becoming more and more diverse every year. 
And we also value group work and collaboration. So there's a lot of effort in our classes to facilitate that and so students build those skills. Um, we value empathy and building and sort of the use of design thinking. And that's a big part of that is getting um, students out and experiencing um, issues and challenges from the grassroots. So although the last six months has sort of, uh, um, due to COVID, there's been some limitations on that, but where possible, we try to get outside the classroom as well. Um, public engagement is a big part of what, we, um, what we're doing. We believe building partnerships and trying to build a community focused on um, sustainable development and social innovation is really critical. And we also believe those partnerships will provide opportunities for students as well. So this is just a sort of a, a snapshot of some of that public engagement we've been engaged in over the past two, um, two years. We've put on events on youth in politics or young people who've been elected in politics in Thailand, seeing their perspective. We've engaged with people like um, Nicole Croster, the head of Impact 46, think, looking at his work on impactful non-profit organizations. Um, students have also organized events such as this Animating Change and ReMindset were student-led events, which were actually part of the curriculum. Um, inclusive Education for All uh, was a, another event we put on. We worked with the uh, TMRS, the Thailand Market Research Society, to look at research for social impact. And just recently, we organized events on digital innovation in social, uh, Southeast Asia and financing social impact and green transition. Both the latter two here were student sort of initiated and led events. Um, we try to create a dynamic, a classroom environment, um, and we're fortunate to have a great location by the river, which you'll see. But also, we've been we've adapted to the last uh, the, the situation with the um, COVID nineteen and tried to um, create a sort of a fun and engaging experience online when we've had to do online classes. So this is a, a snapshot, a bit of a picture from the last year. We've had our students um, studying by the river. Uh, and um, it's, it's a great environment and sort of a very vibrant place. So this is also from the past year. Gives you a picture of a really tight and <laughs> dynamic group of students we've had this year. And as I said, we really value this sort of diverse student body. So we've we've created a very supportive environment for international students. Um, so at the moment, it's been about 50-50 Thai students and international students, and um, we expect that to continue. Um, career path, there's a lot of opportunities, and we've got our students are doing lots, of alumni are doing lots of interesting work. Um, you know, we Students could get be involved in innovation labs, community development, impact investment and social innovation involved in social impact um, assessment as well, it ties into investment, social entrepreneurship, um, being a, developing a startup, coaching businesses or, on social entrepreneurship, um, consulting on communication for behavioral change are just some of the many different pathways students are involved in and could be involved in through this course. These are some of our um, alumni and current students. Uh, Tita is currently with us at the moment. She's a social entrepreneurship and the co-founder and director of Steps with Tira. Um, 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 Tania here is the communication and digital technology program manager of Digital Asia, uh, the digital Asia Accelerator, um, a US AID funded project and a Mishu was the impact director at Jump Foundation. He's also in the project manager, Insight Pack. He's um, also one of our alumni. Uh, Mac here on the, um, on the left is one of our students. He's developing a career as a uh, travel consultant and blogger. And we have um, our, uh, our very dynamic, lovely Nyin, who's our, uh, who is, um, uh, moderating today's session, we um, she's a great, great part of our 
our community.